all right guys uh, very good morning very good evening and very good afternoon wherever you are um, here i am super excited with uh, one new topic where i wanted to share with some of the critical some of the core fundamental rman internals which is going to blow everyone's mind after this particular today's session right that is for sure because as a dba when you work on any client environment the most often task is to rebuild your standby database and is to clone your production database into your development servers or the lower environment very often task and many of us will end up with you know how i can do it and what if what are the different methods i can achieve this accomplishment and that's all i'm going to cover it in this particular uh, today's session right so let's quickly understand fundamental facts i already covered how you can do rman cloning how you can do rman uh, you know stand by database build using rman backup or with backup without backup so many things i covered already in my youtube channel if anyone of missed those sessions please go back and refer my youtube channel and you'll get a lot of things on that so my youtube channel already i opened here you can refer them there so in this particular session i'm just going to give you mind blowing rman insights especially for this particular activities building your standby database and you know building your cloning your production database into your lower environment right quickly jump on the demonstration here this is my production server right so this is my prod server all right so this is my prod server and my prod server database is running here it's a prod db fair enough prod database is running here my primary task build standby or dr or secondary database so many people will call you the many name so doesn't matter this is a standby database your primary replica and where the log sipping are all happening to your standby and my other intention is to clone or build lower environment that is your dev test uat or whatever you can call it as dev or test or uat or pre prod from prod db so from prod database you can build your lower environment dev uat test that's a cloning typically you can call it as a rman cloning or active core active database duplicate or backup based duplicate whatever you can call it right so this is my development server or the test server or uat server and this is my standby server or secondary server or you can call it as whatever it is so i can call it as a, a dev or test or uat or pre prod server this is just a linux server as your prod server this is one of your server and this one is again server so i can call it as a dr or standby server fair enough so now how i can build it again remember this particular production backup i'm going to take it let's say this particular production backup i have taken here using the rman backup right so same thing these are my production backups this production backup i have taken here rman backup so i'm just going to put the same thing this is my rman backup here i'm just going to keep and i'm going to keep it one copy here so that what i'm trying to demonstrate here i have taken a backup here my production backup i have taken here how i'm going to take my backup here so very simple uh, what i'm going to do first thing backup database that i'm going to take my i'm going to connect to my rman so it's basically your rman backup i'm talking about these are my rman backup or i just say bkp and again this is also same rman backup the only difference between this backup and this backup everything remains same so when i'm taking a backup here to build my lower environment i'll take a backup i'll just connect to rman i'll just say rman backup database it's going to take entire database backup rman backup 
archilog all. So there are different methods. I'm not going to talk about how you can take a backup incremental level zero, level one, you know, image copy, backup set, encrypted backup. I like I explained everything in my Armen discussion or Armen topic in my channel. You can refer them. I'm just trying to make it simplify here. I'm taking a backup, database backup. I'm taking Armen backup here. And I'm going to take Armen backup. That is my backup SP file. I'm going to take my SP file backup. Armen backup current control file, right? Fair enough. These are the four things I'm going to back it up here. This backup I'm talking about. And what about this backup? Because remember, so this is for your standby build. This is for your pre-prod build. I'm taking this command. Backup database, backup archilog all, backup SP file, backup current control file. These four backups are fair enough to build my lower environment. To build my standby database, again, I need the same thing. Backup database, backup archilog all, backup SP file. But here, backup current control file for standby. Remember this very, very important changes. Remaining all backups are same, but control file. I don't need a control file, current control file backup to build my standby. Rather, I need current control file backup for standby. That's the changes. Right. So you got a backup here, you got a backup here, and the only difference between this backup and this backup, it has standby control file backup, current control file backup copy for standby. Here, current control file copy to build a new primary, right? So with this backup, and I already explained, if you have a backup, you can rebuild this particular database using a two option. And here also you can rebuild your database using two option. One is you can use a method, option one, you can use restore and recover method. I can just call it as a RR, right? So restore and recover method. You can use a restore and recover method to build your new development database. It will be like when you use a restore and recover method, your prod database will be restored it as a prod. Later, you can use a NID command to change that DB name as a dev, test, UAT, whatever you want. Because when you use R and R, restore and recover, you don't have an option to change the DB name. Right, or you can use Rman duplicate. You can use Rman duplicate to build a new database. When you use Rman duplicate, you can give any option. You can uh, you have an option to give DB name as a dev, test, UAT, pre prod, whatever you want. You can give that that has an option when you use a Rman duplicate from BKP from backup. That same thing goes here. We're going to use the same thing. We can use the same Rman duplicate from the backup. I can build my standby database. And I can use same restore and recover method to build my standby database. Both are exactly same and no issue at all. And only difference is once you do a restore and recover, once you do a Rman duplicate database, and you are going to open database with a reset log here. And here your database will be in mount mode. You are going to start MRP recovery. Same step, same process. If I can go to my YouTube channel and I already explained uh, restore and recover versus clone. So you can search for Malik034 and restore and recover method. This is what rack database this is for your standalone database rman restore recover versus rman clone what's the difference how you can differentiate everything i explained here here so same thing you can use the restore and recover or rman duplicate from the backup to build your new your development database or the pre prod database or build your standby database right fair enough and we have one more option without backup what is that you can build your lower environment development test UAT using same Rman duplicate from active database. <clears throat> you no need to use a backup. You don't have a backup directly connect to your production database and you can build your development database. That's called Rman 
duplicate rman duplicate database from active database the same concept will goes to your standby build as well rman duplicate standby database build from your active database so that is your third option for both standby build as well as your lower end domain build right these are the three options applicable for your lower end domain setup or building a new lower end domain or setting up your new standby database or the di database for your production database right that is not enough we have one more option especially for your standby but we don't have option for my lower end domain these are the only three supported option to build your lower end domain development or test or uat or any any database on any server but on my standby database build i have those three options or restore and recover method rman duplicate from backup or rman active database duplicate along with that starting with the 12c onwards we don't have it in 11g but starting with the 12c dr or standby build from prod service name very important right so that is your fourth option to build your standby database and as a dba we need to practice all these three option to build my development and we need to practice all these four option to build my standby database if you are practice these seven options and you can easily play around anything at our main level any restoration any recovery method any lower environment build or any standby build it's all going to be icing on the cake so it's all about how which method you are comfortable which you are practicing a lot you can use them so but these are the options available for dba to build your lower environment or clone the production database to lower environment or build a new standby or di database for your production database right so that are the options i wanted to bring it up here in this discussion and probably i'm going to show all this demonstration in details with uh, each command by command so i'm going to set up three servers and i'm going to execute and demonstrate all these seven options and that will be a mind blowing for all the dbas all right so let's connect on our next session to actually go over all this demonstration all the seven methods in one shot until then take care guys uh, thank you bye bye